TJ, what's this um, <coughs> what's this week been like in particular compared to say a normal test week? Um, it's been very very much the same. Uh, we tend to and keep our structures, um, I guess, in our preparation the same, regardless of result, regardless of team that we're playing. Um, big part of our environment is making sure that we improve on um, what we do day to day, um, and that's a way for us to, I guess, stay level. Um, and we're not um, trying to react to uh, performances of the past or uh, excitement of things coming forward. If we can just keep our structures the same, keep our routine um, as close to normal as possible um, for us that that's a big reason or a big um, driver for us for our, our performances. Is, has, the, has it been hard not to let the time drag <coughs> with that week off? Uh, what do you mean? So this week, let time drag? Yeah. Or last, or last week. With the bye. Um, now we did a lot together as a team um, last week with our bye. We um, had a very similar training week um, had some afternoons off, which was uh, which was nice to get the body right. Um, had one extra day off um, where we would have usually had a captain's run, which was on a Friday, and then had a big Saturday um, game replacement, which is um, obviously a day that we would have usually played. So the structure of the week itself was very similar, with some afternoons off, and um, that that Friday was a little bit different. TJ. Ollie here from New Sub. Um, I suppose there's always pressure on an All Blacks team, uh, no matter who you're playing or, or what your past results are. And I just suppose, given you're coming off back-to-back -back losses, maybe that pressure's heightened. Um, maybe you guys don't feel it, but is there a way you guys can kind of use that pressure uh, to your advantage and, and kind of walk towards it to help fuel your performance, if you get what I mean? Um, yeah, I understand what you mean, but I still believe that the pressure we put, ourse under, put ourselves under internally um, excels um, the pressure, I guess, media put on us or, or fans put on us. So our drive to be the best that we can be and the best in the world each and every day um, within this environment um, outweighs any external pressure I've ever felt. So, um, yeah, we're coming off back-to-back um, -back losses, uh, but if we were coming off 17 wins in a row, I think the pressure we put on ourselves within this environment um, is greater than the pressure you guys can put on us um, as media, the pressure that our fans can put on us, all the pressure our critics can put on us. We, um, we're in this environment and players are in this environment to excel and to be the best in the world and that's what we wake up each day trying to do. Caleb, from your perspective, it was probably um, a bit of a struggle for the back line to get the attack going a, a couple of weeks ago. How, how do you think you can... Um, I suppose better help in that or, or, or how can you um, see a little bit more of that ball to impose yourself on the Pumas, you know, the way you have done uh, all year? Um, probably just try and um, get my work rate up coming off the wing and try looking for the ball. Um, that will be one way I can sort of inject myself into the game. But um, other than that, I think um, what we've trained and what we've planned throughout the week is uh, really... Con uh, what's the word? complimented everyone that's going to be out on the pitch and so um, I think all of us are just excited to get out there and, and put a performance on that we'll all be proud of. Thank you. <clears throat> G'day uh, Caleb, it's uh, Mark here. Um, listen, this has all been new for you, this whole all black thing and it, I think it's fair to say you've had some... Um, You've had some highs and some lows through 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 your experience thus far. Could you just talk to, I guess, you know, what your big takeaway has been from your first time in the All Black environment? Yeah, definitely been some some highs and lows, and I've been real grateful to go through both of them. Um, I think the biggest thing I've found is, oh, I was thinking about it the other day, and it's as people, you know, will probably see our environment and. Um, what people don't see and, and stuff like that. I think the biggest learning I've found is just always being a good person will be the biggest thing. Being in, being in All Black, it's first of all, we just want to be real good people. And, um, you know, just we're living a, a real, like a life I'm really grateful for right now. And so 
um, yeah, just just one being a great person and two probably just around the rugby side, just the real professionalism, um, the small things, the little details are probably the biggest thing that counts. Um, the higher you go, it's the little things um, that will be the biggest, um, that will make the biggest difference. And so I think those two things there um, would be the, the biggest um, learnings that I've taken, especially out of this out of this year, 2020 has been so crazy. And so, yeah. Thank you. Speaking of that, TJ, um, this year, um, off the field in particular, is it is it taking its toll? How hard is it to how hard has it been to train through most of the year, not knowing when you're going to play, keep training, stop training, what have you, across basically the last 10 to 12 months? Is it is it Taking its toll? Um, I don't think so. Um, I, I know um, if I can just isolate your question down to the training aspect of it, being hard to train uh, in that time, I, I don't um, believe it has been um, that hard. It's been very similar to an off season um, while we were in lockdown through COVID, where a lot of my training um, I do by myself. Um, I do in Porirua, um, and I spent uh, most of that time. Um, training as if it was an off season and then I guess the hardest bit is being away from home um, and not having family being able to come on this tour uh, would mm -hmm. be a big big difference um, but in terms of how the body feels and how I feel um, I guess this time of year compared to other years I'm probably more fresh um, physically at this time of year due to the lack of um, games that we played in that big part the portion while we were through lockdown we had a a big bit of time off to get our body right to train um, and didn't play as much rugby at that time of the year so probably more fresh now um, than I would have been if our if our test season was or our whole rugby season was the same a normal season is it us team oh, yeah. sorry Ollie. Not, sorry Joe um, I, when do you head to Japan are you, are you coming back to, to NZ first or do you and the family head, head straight over after this? Uh, my wife and daughter travel here on Tuesday um, next week. We're here for a couple of days and then we go to um, Osaka from here.